Uh, damn my hair. What's wrong? Uh, did, you, did you color your hair? No, you see, it's a, it's a grayish. It's oh. getting there. Fuck. What do you mean it's getting there? <laughs> you've, been, <laughs> you've been gray for years. The bright light. <laughs> hey, listen. We, we can't all do like Chris and, and color our beards and stuff. Yeah. Well, no, I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about your head, Chris. I got nothing up here, man. Yeah, do you, you I don't do what I gotta do. I gotta do what I can do. So, so you don't shave your hair no more? Yeah, I do. So, but you gotta, you got uh, a razor. Most of it is gone, though. You're waiting for, for oh, just, to, just here. It'll just be here. And yeah, that's like me. That's like me. I just had that spot in the back, and I said I can't yeah, do that. Yeah, that's what I go. That's what I go by. Who is that motherfucker? Start. <laughs> Prevalent, and then, um, but if you like, but if you grow your head, your hair on your head, are they going to be gray? No, still, not really. Probably right here a little bit. A little bit. So it's just a beard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's funny how you know because when you look when you look at Dex, his hair was all <laughs> he's all white. <laughs> Dex, Dex, Dex did a lot of shows, man. Shit, it's all white. My beard would be completely white. Yeah? I tried it. Oh, really? I have never seen you with a beard. One time, you know, uh, like 2006, six, seven. I did it with Johnny Jackson. I, I took some pictures. I looked like a fucking idiot. You had a beard? Yeah. Yeah, how, I'll show you. Like, <laughs> <we can do. laughs> it looks ridiculous. How come I can't remember? Because 2006. Yeah, I'll send you. But not for long. Johnny Jackson. Yeah, that was 2006, yeah. Yeah, but not for long, then. You just did it for... Oh, uh, I mean, I tried it. I realized, oh, Jesus Christ, that looks so bad. You shave every day? Yeah. Uh, see. Every fucking day. Every day? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. I couldn't keep up. I couldn't... Man, I, you know what? I could, if I had to do it, I couldn't do it either. <laughs> I could not. Oh, you up. brush your teeth, you shave. Yeah, but brushing my teeth, <laughs> brushing my teeth is different. European style. I huh? brush my teeth yeah. twice a day, but to shave, uh, I know, I know, I can't yeah. do it. Yeah, and then I miss often parts. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> no, you don't sleep too well, and then it's I didn't like, go to sleep last okay. night. Huh? I couldn't hardly sleep last night. Me Shit. too. I Sucks. all night. Just the, jumping over here to this another time zone and shit. And, yeah. Where are you at? Are you in Columbus too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, where are you staying? I'm at the Hilton right now. Oh, okay. Are you staying there the whole time? Yeah, but my Wednesday is kind of fucked up. I got to fig figure it out with uh, Breon, but I I'll see him after this. What do you mean your Wednesday is fucked up? You have no place on Wednesday? No, not, a not at the moment. You mean tomorrow? Tomorrow, yeah. Well, listen, I have a room starting tomorrow, and I don't get in until... 10 o'clock tomorrow night. Yeah, so, yeah. so if I can check in online, you should be able, you should be able to get in, right? I should no, I can just call. Yeah, but you have to you have you have to add him to the reservation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me? I will just call. I will just call the hotel and said my my partner is coming in early. <laughs> 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 I'll put some, I'll put I will something tell, on. I will tell the I'll person. I'll put something on it when I get to the, to the <laughs> desk. <laughs> That's fucking great, man. So, I got no, yeah, I mean. I got a pink shirt I can wear with my, my, uh, I got a pink dress shirt I can wear. No, I'm, I'm going to try it because, because, you know, what, what are you going to do? Yeah. And then his stuff starts on Thursday. I was going to grab his room on Thursday, but I'll, I'll see what's happening. We'll see. I'll let you know, brother. I get in. I, I tell you, I get in late. I get in. At my my flight lands at um, shit. Last year, I didn't get in until like twelve thirty, one o'clock in the morning. Jeez. Yeah, because my flight lands at ten eighteen. So by the time I get my bag, get a, get an Uber. By the time I get to the hotel, it'd be midnight. Uh, <laughs> hey, Chris. Don't bring any fucking girls in the, in the room. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, keep it clean for, for dinner. Oh, God. <laughs> and sleep on the bed and the sofa. 
I, I got, got nothing coming in. I got, I got nothing coming in until a few days that more. That means nothing. I have a so I have that a, means nothing by tomorrow. Yes. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. No. 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 Uh, no. 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 No female underwear in that room, please. No. <laughs> But I, I have a sofa bed in there. That's why. I mean, it is, you feel free. Yeah. Feel free to hang out. Cool, man. Appreciate it. You know, that means no. That means for me, no jacking off a Wednesday night. I don't jack off. Uh, That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. If not, I, hey. If not, be. What's the longest? What's the longest you ever went without any anything? Any any release? Oh shit! I went like a year. What? I went like a year, and I was like forty, my forties. Yeah. What do you mean a year? And what do you have? What well, you had both I hands? Went like a year. You both hands in the cast, or <laughs> no? Didn't didn't touch it, and I didn't. And my girl, we, we were living together still too, and then uh, a year, and 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 why? Some of it was like she was being some kind of way. I got a little mad, and I was being. The same. I was in oh, so oh, Never. so you mad at her? Yeah. <laughs> I would, I, I would have fucking jacked off on the download, and she don't need to know. <laughs> I would not, Milos. Oh. Milos. I don't jack off. <laughs> don't come <laughs> off. Hey, I, I assume we are not uh, on air. We are on air like a mug. But hell yeah, we on air. <laughs> Let, I'm cautious. <laughs> no, we on air. Listen, Milos, do you believe? I didn't know that. You be, yeah, now you know. Do you believe? That he did not release in one year? No. I, I don't believe it either. There's no, no way. I'm telling you. Uh, I wouldn't. Yeah. Hey, listen. Uh, after, come on, man. Listen. <laughs> listen. Why listen. do you always think I'm lying, dude? I don't lie. I don't, I'm not saying you're lying. I'm, I have no reason to lie. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying you're lying. I just don't believe it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't have to shit after. I just after, push after, out of my ass every once in a while. I just push out of my ass after, for no, no reason. Bro. <laughs> a year for real? Yeah, dude. And then what? You left her? No. Then I I, I went out on her and banged something. Else. <laughs> then she got mad at me. I said, like, "You can't get mad at me." <laughs> but you waited a year. You waited a year to do that. A year, dude. That makes no uh, sense. To a, me. That makes no sense to me. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even. You got it coming if I. You got it coming if I went that long. I can see a couple of months, you know, but then after that, I wouldn't even have to touch myself. I just run against the wall. Boom! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> <Head first. laughs> we got we got Kylie here thinking we all crazy. Yeah. Kylie, do you believe that? A year for Chris. For Chris, yeah. No, she doesn't believe it either. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> of course. I don't lie. No. It's you don't not, know how, right? I don't have a reason to. Why? I don't have to lie. <laughs> mm. But I you know, but you but you know that's not hel not healthy as for for an adult man. Yeah. Be backed up like that, man. Shit. I was brutalizing myself. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> so, I don't and I don't date tall women anymore either. Why is that? Because I, I had an incident. That. That ago. What's, what's few inches have to I do with it? I would never date a tall woman like that. No, at Miller's, a few inches can be a big issue. <laughs> <laughs> For a tall woman. <laughs> oh, because she had a long arm and she reached behind me. From <laughs> <laughs> Without my consent. <laughs> Oh man! This... All right, let's start the show. <laughs> we have we already started, man. We in the middle of the show. <laughs> yeah, I'm t I'm just I'm just trying to write down the damn clickbait for this show. Say <laughs> so we already started. Chris waited. Oh, so I'm gonna make it. I'm <laughs> gonna come with Chris one year sober. The title, right? the title of the show. No, the title of the show year. The title of the show will be something like. <laughs> Who was the lucky one after fucking 12 months? <laughs> yeah. What's happening with the rich man, man? I don't know. Chris arranged it. Probably Chris, missed yeah. it. Chris? Oh, what did you... Uh... <laughs> you probably missed the time. I got the, me I got the email from you and everything. I never once talked to, to Rich about this. No. You should. So... <laughs> Let me, let me. If it's just me, if it's just us, which is not too bad, uh, but then, I'm then, sure he's like, but, but then, the, like, what? Then, then the title will be even better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah hey, why don't you guys? I, I have a feeling he he doesn't know. He has no clue. Yeah. I mean, he got an email yesterday. 
Yeah, but, you know, I got email. I, I just opened it. I didn't have a time, you know what I mean? Especially if he's in Columbus. Yeah, but you're the busy Milo Satchev. He's not in Columbus. He, he said he's not getting in time. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, Dennis, did you check a uh, screenshot from Chris? He had a 36,000 unopened emails. No, I didn't. <laughs> Yeah, that's oh, oh, that, that was that that was I, I I saw something, but I I didn't understand what you're trying to say. <laughs> Look at Chris. There's a lot of junk mail in there. What? Where do you see that? It's junk at the bottom, mail. you know, like uh, 286 uh, unopened messages and 6,000 emails. Where, where, no, where do you see that? Where? <laughs> On our private message. I he, know. He, I see a picture with the Zoom link, but I just all the way down. Down, down, down. I uh, to see you writing it, but I don't see anything on the picture. Damn. Uh, you know, I shut off the phone because I didn't want my phone to ring. So it's going to take me a few seconds. Yeah. Look at his screenshot. And then when you have a, <laughs> all these apps, like, you know. Right oh, 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 you're talking about, oh, you, oh, you're talking about. I don't know you get so nosy there. But, uh... Yeah, but you know what? I have this on my computer too. And I, all my messages on the phone open, but it doesn't show on the computer that they were open. So, and to, I got Chris's back. How about 186 messages? That's when you send two Chris a message, he yeah. doesn't respond. But that's the messages he gets because he's got his phone, iPhone linked to his, to his MacBook. Hey. A lot of messages on that. He's notorious for not answering the messages. Yeah, yeah. I, you know what? <laughs> notorious. Uh, if, um, my, my computer, now I'm notorious. My computer says <laughs> hey. one or two, and Chris says 286, and 36,000 fucking emails. Yeah, Chris. Yeah, you in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you. At, at least, hey, listen. He I'm has. I, I contacted <laughs> Kevin Lebron and asked, "Hey, Kevin, can you give me your email?" He says he doesn't have an email. What? <laughs> Kevin doesn't have an email. Oh, yeah. Why have? How do you communicate, man? Uh, like uh, smoke signals, like Indians, you know, like oh, phone, you phone, phone. Yeah. He has an email for sure. So how is? Uh, listen, let's talk about. Uh, I, I saw the. Oh, oh, Rich. He's not answering. Just call now. Rich and uh, I'll talk to Dennis. Don't worry I about just it. I did. I called him once. Uh, so, so did you did you see all your guys yet? Uh, James is not here yet. He's coming like uh, Wednesday night. Uh, Why was he in Texas? We've seen, uh, we've seen the pictures with uh, uh, Marcelo, and uh, um, I see him uh, last night. We hit the poses, oh, and I'm very happy how he looks now. Yeah. Oh. We, hey, we Rich, Rich morning, is coming. I've seen him in the evening. In the evening, he looked dramatically better, and we found a few poses he never did that he looks fucking spectacular. You know? mm. You're gonna be able to hit him when the lights are bright and the heat is on. No, no, it, it just like look. How many people? Yeah, where's the link? <laughs> and how many people? Tell, tell him check oh. his email. Oh. He, okay, he, he got the message. So, yeah. he said you don't have the link. Tell him, check his spam from Nico. Oh, no. From Nico. Mm -hmm. All right. So, go ahead, Milos. Yeah, a lot of people just go to the exact mandatories, but you can tweak the mandatories. And present what you want because you have to attract the attention for the first call out right right that one minute you have to impress them so like back in the day as joe wheeler told me like why did you back down biceps you don't have a back you don't have biceps why well, you gotta make his voice huh <laughs> why you gotta make his voice <laughs> why you make joe's voice i hope uh, he's listening <laughs> yeah. what did he say copy link i'm gonna see if i can copy it Making Joe's voice. I heard you. You talking to yourself? No, he's talking to you. He said, "Why you? Why you copy Joe Weeder's voice when you say that?" <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I, I can't do it. I can't really do it. Oh, it just it just it just sounded pretty <laughs> good just now. Uh, yeah, you were you were right there. No, but I I see what you're saying you because you know win. who took advantage of that. That was Kevin. He took advantage of yeah. hitting three four shots before he gets into the mandatory pose. Yeah, you know, and him. and nobody ever stopped him. There we go. How about Arnold? There he is. Yeah, Arnold did this all the time. He's there, but nobody. Rich, don't have a camera on. My camera's not on. Yeah, you gotta yeah. you gotta click on the camera logo in the bottom. I see it. There yes, you go. I see it. Rich, if you can't, 
How you doing? Do if you favor. can turn turn the camera to the side, so we get full the full rich. All right. Is it? All right. Yeah, yes. but you might have your phone. It's locked. You might have your phone locked. You need to go. It's in. locked. <laughs> Do you have an iPhone, Rich? Yes. Slide it down. Slide down from the top. Okay. And click on that little. That looks like it looks like a watch. It's ha it's it's got a little opening. Just click on that and unlock your phone from being able to turn to the side. The watch. Uh, it's, Where it's, is it's, it's a circle that looks like it's like eleven o'clock. It's, uh, is, it, is it on my? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's uh, right. See when you when you slide down right. from the top. Yeah, I'm looking like at now down. my the time. Okay, and okay see, here, slide down, right slide this, down, sorry. so you get this. Yeah. Uh, Where this? do you see the lock? That one. Um, your your whole camera is frozen, Rich. You're not even you're not even. See, I see you, but you're not moving. You don't see me right now. Do me a favor, Rich. Lo yeah, lo okay, it's all over. Rich, lo log out and log back in and see if that fixes the issue. Okay, is that the thing that's spinning around with a little lock on it? Correct. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yes, yes. And and it shouldn't be white. It should be black, right? It should be bl black and white. It should black be and white. A different I, color. I'm totally white. Say lock is on or lock is off. It'll tell you. So right now, I'm say lock. Now you're back. Now you're back. So now turn it. There you go. Oh, there it goes. Yes. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Sorry. Sorry. Rich, I'm, I'm rich. I'm really impressed with what you've been doing lately, man. You've been working out really hard, man. What's going on? I, I just enjoy training. Just, you I know, can, it's, I can see that it shows for I, real. I, I, I do it because it's fun for me and that I can do it. And it's a challenge because I'm 60 and, I did the other day just in, in, in uh, you know, because of Milos, I did a giant set, like five exercises, I did a giant set, too, to impress oh, Milos. Oh, I didn't see it. <laughs> did, did you post it on Instagram? I'll repost yeah, it. Did, yeah, I did it on Instagram. <laughs> I did five exercises, pretty good amount of weight, you know. Of course, I get all this shit. They go to parallel. Oh, you don't go low, past parallel, all this bullshit. Yeah. Oh, this good shit. Yeah. So, hey, listen, you know, Dennis, uh, uh, 2007 or 8, something like that, uh, um, uh, Rich came with his team into the Colosseum. So we did like this party against KNS uh, training and we did the giant sets that he was prepared for it. And we did like uh, 18 exercises for legs. Mm. 18, yeah. back to back to back. Yeah, I was about to say, five is a little low for Milos. Yeah, exactly. yeah five. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yeah, I, I did them all, right, Milos? Yeah, you did. you did. But then you didn't want to go for the second round. You know? <laughs> hey, uh, I mean, if, you, if I would do 18 <clears throat> exercises, 18 different exercises in one set, that would be the end of my workout. Uh, normal people, yeah. yeah. I don't think there's nothing else I needed to do. Yeah. Because, <laughs> Minos, because let's think about this. Because if you do it the right way with a decent amount of weight, because you can do it yeah. light or you can use a decent amount of weight, 18 sets. I'm done. Yeah, yeah. yeah normally, yeah. Would be, but listen, when you consider this as a warm up, you go through the range of motion, uh, isolation, contraction, squeeze, all you don't go all out first, you just warm up completely and then you're ready for a second. Then, second, you can up the weight in each station or yeah. some stations or whatever, right? But that always, that always told me, like, I didn't know about that, that because <clears throat> you're not, yeah, you're pacing yourself type of mentality. Is what yeah. I think. I mean, should you warm up or you don't warm up? Yeah, but I mean, you, you, you warm up but, but you don't need to warm up 18 sets. Uh, of course. Listen, you know how I started? I started with the super set, then three sets, then giant set four. And then next time I said, you know what? Let me add another one. And then let me add another one. Because when I trained Hida back in the day, right? So yeah. I said, okay, sky's the limit. Let's go. You know, let's see how far can we go. And then with Hida, you can discover like, oh, what is uh, how far you can push it? Hmm. And I think, I mean, we did it. And uh, it's sometimes it's fun, as, of course, sometimes it's overkill by all means. But the, hey, you create, pick the right exercise. And then in this, you're going to go slow. In this, you're going to squeeze the Kamenic. In this, you're going to go concentrically slow. You know, hmm. mix and match. Uh, here is the thing. Okay, here is the thing. There's all these theories and uh, training you have to do. Progressive overload and just basic exercises and then heavy duty and all this shit. 
I think the training should be like sex, okay? You want to do always the same range, same tempo, same, uh, you know, angle, same this, same that. Repeat the exact same. Some people, some, people I, I, train like, some people train like they're having sex. I'd be like, I bet you, I bet you have sex just hey, like you. Chris, Chris is on a different level today, Rich. <laughs> Chris, Chris, I didn't know we was even taping. Hey, uh, uh, hold on, let, Rich. Let me tell you what Chris started this podcast off with. His question to me was, our question to me, Milos, was, what's the longest you've ever went <laughs> without without busting a nut? Doesn't matter, sex, jerking off, whatever. <laughs> what's the longest? And I'm and I'm looking and I'm trying to remember how long did it go. And then Chris, hey, Rich, you tell me if you believe this. And then Chris said he went 12 months in his prime, in his prime at 40. You know Chris in his prime. Chris, Chris, Chris probably hardly went 12 minutes. <laughs> 12 months because he was mad at his girl. No, we were yeah. mad at him. We I'm mad at each other, so she's not getting nothing. Issues, so she's you know? not getting nothing. I would have been there, wham, bam, thank you, hand, double handed. <laughs> if I don't want to, if I don't want to give her nothing, I would put two hands on them. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's get back. Let's get back. Let's get back. Yeah. <laughs> but, the, but the clickbait. This well, that's not even the clickbait. It's a real fucking. Uh, <laughs> it's a real damn title. It says it's. I already wrote it down. Uh, so the show's gonna call Chris, Chris not ejaculating for twelve You're still months. Still on air. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah. <laughs> Anyways, Milos, how many sets would you do? Let's say eighteen is is a, that's, that's high. I like, but that's overkill. Four okay. is good. Four. No, four is good. Yeah, four is good. Oh, so 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 you now you had four four to five is a good giant set. Yeah, I still do. Listen, I still do. Two exercises, kind of uh, heavy duty style, progressive overload, typical of what we all did, all mm. did, all this. Dorian would say, okay, you just warm up one set and then go all out. This is injury waiting to happen. Nobody can warm up one set and then go all out in a second. You know, there's no way. And we all know that heavy duty guys had all the tears. Chris, injuries. did you Chris, did you train like that? Every now and then? Not exactly like that. Not not one set go all out. Yeah, I tried it when I, mean, I, was young. I tried it when when it first when it first be, and it's not even Dorian's. It's actually uh, everyone just says his, okay. but Mike, like, Mike, right? Yeah. No, I mean, it was before Mike was uh, what's the guy's name? Uh, what's guy came up with that? Uh, Arthur that Jones. Nautilus, the Nautilus. Arthur Jones. Yeah, Arthur Jones. Arthur Jones. Yeah, Arthur Jones. But it just it's it just seems more uh, it it's just more colorful to, to use Dorian's name on it. Mm. I'll tell you what yeah. his theory, but if you say if you warming up one or two sets like that, then you can go all out. So you think two sets is enough to warm up? Yeah, but what what do you consider warming up? I'm and you ask, warm I'm up, gonna, but, but listen, but listen, but you warm up before that. You warm up on the bike. Yeah, warm up, you, you come there sweaty already. Uh, yeah, but that's a uh, body cardiovascular, and also isolated also, muscle tendon see, joint. See, for me, it was but listen, really but then, but then it's, but but I was gonna say, Milos, you changed your philosophy a little bit because you wasn't kind of out when we were in. What's that place during COVID? You wasn't, you wasn't really squeezing any much muscle. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I remember that from Milos. I remember Milos was doing giant sets, but there was no slow movements back then. Yeah, it was, it was just go, 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 go. So you change your all philosophy. That, all that came later. But well, I, I never changed the philosophy. I just include, just like you say, yeah. in a sex, sometimes you want to go hardcore, sometimes soft, sometimes long range. Of so what made you feel like you needed to go. change something? Have you seen me? Have you seen me? No, no. Time under the tension. And Dennis, he used I, start, I started this for myself where I said, listen, everybody's doing uh, the negative. I said, let me try to go super slow from the bottom. Up. And take yeah, as long as possible. It's for 30 years. You yes. Know? But this was for, for me. Years, this was for I, me. I do the variable. Okay. You can do. Okay. Just think about this. How can you change the tempo? You can change tempo in four points of the exercise. Lowering eccentrically, fully stretched, uh, lifting concentrically, and fully shortened. So I can do squeeze like a maniac for 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven. Leg extensions, right? You squeeze for 10, squeeze for 9, squeeze for 8. Okay, that's the peak contraction part. Mm -hmm. You have exercises like, okay, 
pull over. I like to be in stretch position for 10 seconds and then for nine. You know, so uh, the, the uh, hack squats, I like slow concentric. Uh, the shoulder presses and Smith machine go slow concentric, you're going to fucking die. I mean, uh, tempo is just like one of the variables. But, you know, let's say I, I got you in. I don't know if you watch some of my training in uh, Fit Nation. Yeah, I don't know which one you watch. But I always, always combine in some exercises, just survive. Here, you know, you go slow. Here, you squeeze like a maniac. Here, be in the pain zone. That sounds like <laughs> sex in the marriage. That sounds like the first date. And then when you ten years in, once you marry, once you marry, it changes. <laughs> yeah, so then you want to go slow. I mean, <laughs> I, I I started doing. It. I started. You said about go ahead, training. Please. Like for me, it's just been more so. You said I'm enjoying training because, like, I'm experimenting with a lot of methods. I, I mean, I did more like the Arnold training with a lot of exercises. You know, two hours in the gym, multiple sets you know, fast reps. And, and lately, as I'm older, I've been using more, like what Milo said, time over tension on the slow, on eccentric. I've been doing concentric slow, you know, using lighter weights because obviously I'm older and I don't want to hurt myself because mm -hmm. I try to push myself. And then I, I I like to challenge myself to go heavy, but going too heavy, I don't want to tear something now at this age. Yeah. But so. I, I started this because I was looking at myself and I said, because I was already, I was already retired where I said, what can I do to somewhat mimic heavy weight but not use that heavy weight? And that's when I said, go super slow. And what it, what it, what it did for me, and it did for a lot of other people that I worked with at that time, it gave them strength. Because once you do, once you control a weight super slow on the way up, and you literally have, you do this for a while, next thing you know, if you go regular regular reps, it's almost too light for Easier. you. So you Easier, could, yeah. I literally worked myself up to super slow on the way up. I'm talking six to 10 seconds up on four or five on the incline bench. Wow. Yeah, I have the, I have it on video. I have all this on video. You should do that on the uh, leg. You should put it on, on because uh, that's super impressive. Yeah. That's super so, you should do that on, on a leg press with uh, with uh, glass. But I mean, it, that shit hurt though. It sounded like it sounded. Like <laughs> of course, uh, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> one of the parts. I don't know. I don't know if he did it uh, uh, at that time, uh, Rich. I did a uh, leg press, ten seconds down, ten seconds up, ten reps. Yeah, yeah, 10 yeah. Down, ten seconds up. Okay, that's just one of the examples. But here, here is the punchline: When you train any muscle in any exercise, what do you want to create? You want to create as soon as you can muscle pain, muscle burn. Avoiding the joints. So immediately, if you can connect, find where it burns and stay there without loading the joints. So if uh, if you can do uh, lesser weight like Dennis was doing and fail sooner rather than later, mm. that, that, that's the point. If you do some challenging weight, you know, you can do 10 reps. Okay, well, put the half of the weight and now fail in, on, on 10. Make yourself fail mm -hmm. with a half of the load you accomplish the same. Yeah. And, right, same, and, and, and what I realized, the pumps are fucking unbelievable and they last way longer. Because it usually, when I trained, or I'm talking about when I used to train, I had a good pump, but that shit was gone like 20, 30 minutes later, it was gone. And with the slow, I held on for hours. Unless you're trained with insulin. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> See, but that was that that was that was that was after. So, but <laughs> but but without uh, with, with with the slow it the concentric, like, I was pumped for hours. I took that pump all the way home on the couch. Do you, what, what, you know what's proven on muscle fiber breakdown? You know, close, but the ascent. You know, I've read that eccentric training breaks down muscle more for muscle growth uh, compared to concentric. I mean, is it either way? You can you know make a muscle grow more. You know which way. I mean, I think like what you said, just changing your methods all over the place. Yeah, switch it, it up. It gives oh, your body. It gives your body variety. Sometimes fast paced reps. You know, you can do. Yeah. As well. Yeah, yeah. Switch it up. Well, that's what I try to do. Joe Weider confusion uh, principle. <laughs> yeah, Joe Weider's confusion principle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what is this year, uh, 2024? It's exactly 40 years since Rich. Won nationals. Wow. That's what I was yeah. thinking about. Imagine that. 
40 I years. It was in Olympia 85, I remember. And yeah, I was, I was uh, 20 years old when I won the Nationals. <laughs> Holy and, wow. and And the universe. How old, were, how, old were, how old were you when you started training? I was um, 13 years old. Oh, so you, so you went to the gym early. I like went I, to the gym early. I, I, I started competing. Okay. When I was 16, I started competing. In okay, so I, I heard the Jersey boys, they were they were on the juice a lot more than the California boys. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't go on until I was... That's what I heard. I was 18, but there was guys that were like 15, 16. They, they were beasts. They trained at uh, Kemper's gym. Gerard These kids were like big teenagers, like... You know, they were all on stuff. Because Gerard Dupe showed up at the damn Teen Nationals, and he was out of that gym. And I was like, man, this son of a bitch like a damn grown-ass man. <laughs> Rich, like, I, Rich, do you feel do you feel comfortable talking about what you used to do back in your days? I mean, I, I listen. I've I've talked about it. Yeah. I mean, I, I I know some of the. I got to remember. What I yeah, 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 yeah. You know, some people you know, don't like to I talk find about that. It. That's the biggest challenge. Is no, I, you know what? It, exactly. it is part of it is part of the sport and what I took. And you know, I, they didn't have trembolone back in the day. We had what was it? Parabolin. Yeah. yeah. Uh, or fin or finijet. I yeah. used finijet. I love parabolin. Yeah. And, but I didn't take the doses they're taking today. I think, what was the Parabon? 75 milligrams? 70, 76. 76, yeah, it was 76 <laughs> milligrams. <laughs> and, I, and I would take two of those a week. Right. You know, you know and then, uh, what else? Anavar, which was then, remember, it was two milligrams? 2.5. 2.5, yeah, you see your number. <laughs> <laughs> they could. So 2.5, and I, I'd take like, and I thought it was a lot. I took ten. Yeah, but the you know? Debo, the Debo was five milligrams. You could have. Yeah, Debo was five milligrams. Yeah, big ass punch from that. I want to know. I want to know where the. I want to know where the name Anovar came from because the original Anovar was from from Sealy, Italy company, and yeah. they and they just called Oxandrolone. Oxandrolone. Yeah. Yeah. There was no Anovar. Anovar. Who came up with Anovar? But I mean, like, and then, somebody in America. Answer. Decadrabolin is nandrolone decanoid. It has nothing to do, right? Ibuprofen, you you buy. You know, I, I, I know, I know, but decadrabolin is is a name on the product. Yeah, but that's a brand name and generic name. I, and I and it's ingredient. But yeah, so sandrolone is generic name, and they came up with. I mean, it's not anabar in all parts of the world. There is uh, each country calls it differently. Mm. You know. Like yeah. when you were, you were talking about cytadrin, cytadrin in uh, my country is mamomit in Serbia. We had it. Oh, uh, man. Uh, I'm the glutathione. Yeah. You guys are bringing back memories of all these. I know. Words. I remember in, in Germany, in Germany, <laughs> they used to call him orimitan. Yeah, orimitan. Yeah, in Spain, right. they call him Yeah, exactly. You remember the first? You remember the early beginnings? What they used to call the Winstrol? Winstrol? Yeah. I don't know if the, in America if, if it was even available in America, but, but you guys didn't use the W's right. Oh, sorry, German, German, German. Yeah, <laughs> Stromba. I don't know. Use the W's right. They the had they had they called Stromba Jet, Stromba yeah. Jet. Yeah. Stromba Jet. Yeah, because I think because all you guys, most of you guys, probably got stuff from the Germans, because I from the yeah. stories that I hear, they used to come in suitcases to to, to California, or people pick up stuff that when they when that, they travel in Germany. Happened. I got all I got all my stuff from Italy at the time. <laughs> hey, you're Italian. Yeah. I, I had I had a guy would come in full back then. Hey, full hey, hey Rich, Rich, did you use pecuta cream? Uh, pecuta cream. You said use pecuta cream. Yeah, I love yeah. that one. Holy shit! That just <laughs> ripped, rip, rip. That was another one. That was a liquid, right? A liquid. Yeah. It was in a little vial. You broke. Yeah, you, yeah, you and broke. You, and you put it. You put it in your and your apps and stuff. Is that, is yeah. that the yeah. same stuff? Yeah. The cream was amp. It was actually yeah. yeah. 
And there was percuta cream that uh, uh, Serge Mubre told me about. That was a uh, cream. It mm. was also very, very good. So you rub it in. So what so was it, though? What was it? It was like a, it was an alcohol and, base. And, before. and uh, the, there's that uh, mm. uh, Vidase, uh, mucopolysaccharidase, those enzymes. So back in the day, I, I don't know if, uh, Rich, you used in the 80s, Vidase? Uh, later yeah. was that uh, time you case. Uh, oh, thi was, thi uh, thi yeah, case. But uh, yeah. one before was Vidase. Oh. And it was kind of strong. Time you case had a cream. But, but yeah, yeah. time you case injectable. Time you case injectable. It should burn, cream. right? Yeah, it stings a little bit, but uh, let me tell you, that's what uh, Serge Nubre was using. He told me back in the day. And I used like three ampules a day for a month before uh, 94. Was that in the muscle or sub Yeah, sub-Q, sub-Q. Yeah, it stings. I mean, it, it does. Well, shit. Yeah, yeah. But uh, let me tell you, did it leave a welt? <laughs> did it leave yeah, a welt? I, I like. I wasn't cool with that. <laughs> like, I don't like that. <laughs> yeah. You know the funny. Uh, you know what the funny like thing that. is? Funny, when I, I I listen to all this stuff, I, I I heard about this stuff, but most of the stuff I never even had my hands gone. on. I never even had my it's hands gone on. By the time you got around. Yeah. yeah. Never even well, had my hands you on. You mentioned Germany. Germany had some. Pharmacopeia, like it's prescription drug reference. But you have uh, in every country, every product, what is name? So you say Oxandrolone, and it would be Anavar in America and whatever in this, mm -hmm. this, this country. So that's how I, I would locate them and find them, you know? Because it could be a stupid name, like you said. If you, if you guys remember Boldenone? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, Boldenone was... Uh, EQ, yeah. Yeah. It's still, yeah. Boldenone. But, it was, but wasn't it just one that's got like thick little, you know, crystals in it? That you needed like an eighteen gauge needle to well, be able the, to get it. The boldenone rich, the boldenone, which is EQ, um, was, was because that was yeah, it was veterinary. This was not for humans, so that it yeah. probably wasn't yeah. it probably wasn't as 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 like the like the same yeah. as same as the parabolin. The parabolin was the only one that was literally made for humans. Yeah. All the other stuff that you know, finna finna plex, finna jet, finna plex, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, whatever that was. Yeah. Be, I mean, uh, how great was Parabolon? I mean, yeah. look, Rich used two a week and looked yeah. like a freak. Yeah. Right? And Rich, you you use only two because you were kind of afraid, right? I, I was mean, I was, you know, listen, I was afraid, you know, in taking too much. Like yeah. I, I mean, I listened to some guys after me that like, for example, I don't want to I, I don't want to met. He's a former Mr. Olympia, and okay. it was like Anadrol. <laughs> and I What's that? There's not too many Mr. Olympias now. <laughs> <Yeah. Not right laughs> <now. laughs> well, he's a he's a white Mr. Olympia. I just go say that. <laughs> and he was and he was using like five to six, he told me anadrols. Oh. I said, shit, I was so afraid of taking that. I'd take one. Yeah. When I read the insert saying it could cause leukemia, I was like, I'll, I'll take one a day. I'm yeah. afraid of taking this one. Yeah. But five of those, I was like, fuck, five of those a day. Hey, What's the most you ever took, Milos Anadrol? Uh, two, yeah, but I, two. I, I talk about Nasser taking ten. No, wow, yeah, ten. And uh, you wow. know the, the the whole story. You know he would come and he was telling me like, okay, prescription drug reference right now. You can probably still Google it. Uh, for oxymetalone is uh, what was it? Uh, five milligrams per kilo of body weight. Okay, so hundred kilos that makes a day. 500 milligrams. There was 10 tablets. So, yeah. So he justified it. And then I, I didn't know what to answer. I said, no, man, you know, this is crazy. But but normally it would be uh, 25 milligrams every eight hours, so one and a half a day. But I also know that I, I do know the Olympia winners that took more rich. I'm not going to. I'm not going <laughs> to. Uh, white Mr. Olympia. <laughs> because that matter is done. I know though. who that is. <laughs> hey, um, hey, so Rich, so you have to, I mean, like, what made you go after the strided glute look? Or was that just happening yeah. on accident? That, 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 was, that was by accident. You know, people always ask me that. That was by accident. I was getting ready for the show. I was in the posing room at this at my gym. And I started showing off, you know, my, my hamstrings. You know, I was in my underwear, and then I, I pulled it up, and then my, you know, the gym owner's like, holy shit, look at your ass, it's fucking, it's ripped. So, that's all it, it you know, it was about. Yeah, so, it just, you went to your posing room, had a full-on pose just for your glutes. 
what I what I did is after <laughs> I can still hear the yeah, music. <laughs> I, I, that's what I did. I I accentuated the fact that I had striated glutes. And it was probably, I mean, I would say like, I'm, you know, I don't think I'm the first because there, there was mentioned some old timer from the 19, I don't know, this one guy they mentioned, it was really striated back in the day. But because I had that and I had to go against a genetic freak like Lee Haney and a lot of other bodybuilders, I said, well, I have something no one else has. And that, you know, I was one of the leanest bodybuilders and ripped for that time. So showing off my glutes was part of like the awe when I went on stage. So I had uh, CJ who made trunks. I say, hey, can you cut my trunks up? Mm. And before before that, the trunks were like, you remember how classic started? It covered the whole you glutes. You didn't really yeah. show your glutes. Yeah. I was the first to cut your trunks more so so that you could see, you know, more of your glutes. And I actually had to use glue to keep them from going up my ass. But I was like the first to change the whole way trunks were worn because before that, if you looked at Tom Platts or anybody, you didn't see glutes at all because right. the trunk would cover it. Yeah. And still today, they're Man's still pulling should be covered. trunks up their, glutes, up their ass. What's that? <laughs> Man's glutes should be covered at all times. Oh, <laughs> shut up. Both of you guys. Both of you guys. Why are you saying both of you guys? Because you said the same. I'm just not an advocate. Yeah. <laughs> I, listen, Chris. It's a muscle. Oh, oh it's Chris, a muscle. exactly, Rich. I, I, I bet you. I come from if a family either, if glutes. either, if either, either, either Milos <laughs> or Chris, if they had striated glutes, trust me, they would have pulled that shit up just like Ronnie Coleman did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, you know, what, you know more, it's funny. Oh, I started fair, doing, I started doing like walking lunges back in the eighties, and the only one doing lunges back then were women. Because I remember Corey Everson doing reverse lunges, you know, and, and, you know, to work her booty. And I said, wow, that looks like a good exercise to train because I felt in my legs, but I felt it really in my glutes. So I, I got into doing the whole walking lunges back when nobody even knew about walking lunges. Mm. And that's also developed my glutes. Yeah. And Rich, I mean, by all means, listen, you are legendary for this. It worked for you. It's great. But in, in reality, when you say, okay. I want people to look at my glutes. <laughs> I want to take, take a look at my glutes. Okay, it's a, this out. It's a body you know? part. It's a and body me, part. And he said, CJ, lose it. Make a, like a fucking, uh, you know, stuff or whatever. Right? I don't want anybody to look at my glutes. No? <laughs> hey. Why would they? Milos. No, but. but why, you know? why would they look at female glutes? You remember when female. Hey, because you're you're not, no, you're no, 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 no. <laughs> do you, oh, gonna, do you remember? Ask obvious question. Milos, do yeah. you remember? Do, do you remember? <laughs> have that idea with me. You know? Do you remember? <laughs> but do you remember when uh, when uh, uh, figures started, and then bikini that they had yeah. no thongs, everything had to be covered. Yeah. Look at them yeah, now. To. Look at them today. There's uh -huh. Nothing. Before they got mad, when the one girls tried to come out with the G string, then yeah. they were like, yeah. "Oh, we gotta." That's too here, much. Here, here's my thing about then training. Then like, okay, go. When, when, when you're looking at somebody from the behind and you're looking at not only the striated glutes, but the insertion of the hamstring into the glutes, and you see no excess skin or fat in that area, you see someone totally like an anatomy chart, you know, with his lower back, with, you know, the Christmas tree and the butt with you know, striated glutes. And you, you, I mean, you can't, you got to look at someone like Ronnie Coleman, who his glutes were striated. The insertion of his hamstring it went all the way his, down his leg, though that was. It went all the way down. It was so impressive when you saw him. I mean, of course, his back was so impressive, but his total everything from his yeah. glutes, hamstrings, back was just, just off the chart. Yeah, they were about two feet long. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, let's let's mention another thing for Rich. He's uh, twenty years old, jumps in the first Olympia, and makes top three. Yeah. Okay. And then follows up with a second, how many times? Four times? Three Four times. times. Three times in a row. I mean, who nowadays jumps in Olympia and makes top three? Who was the last one? Derek, Lunds that? Derek Lunsford. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah true. that's true. <laughs> Derek Lunsford. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. You know who else did it? You know who else did it? Short and, you know, and you know who else? Hadi. Hadi Chopin got top three in his first Olympia. Yeah. There goes that took... <laughs> many, many years, but Dennis, that took like 30, 40 years later. You're that talking about rookies. 
Yeah, Recently. Yeah. Well, rookie. I mean, rookie year, right? Huh? Yeah. You had a rookie year, he was third. Yeah. yeah. I was six my rookie year, and I was it still felt like it was a hell of a feat, especially in ninety four. That was a hell of a feat. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was uh, stage decoration in my first Olympics. <laughs> Especially when guys the were one, the one thing you know, I compare the, the different eras. Hey, I, I do feel like the the peak of bodybuilding was you know Chris Cormier, Mila Skarchev, Dennis. You guys, that era with Ronnie Coleman and Nasrul Somebody. Yeah, when you look, when you mention that those amount, you know Paul Delette, you know Flex Wheeler, it just it just seemed that that was like. The renaissance or the peak of bodybuilding yeah. when, you know so many great bodybuilders came from that era my first olympia i thought I, I think i should have gave out the water backstage to the athletes That's that. <laughs> I, I i have a i have to tell a story about uh, uh, what rich, did you get 11th out of 13. i have to tell a story about rich that he pro he probably remembers but he didn't know what impact he had on on my career i remember i think it was my first arnold that i did back in 2000 uh -huh. The, the one I got fourth. And mm. Rich is somebody I looked up to. I knew everything about Rich. I remember exactly. I can tell you interviews he did. I can tell you, yes. still to this day, I remember everything. When he went to Italy before the Olympia, four weeks out, he was already in Italy because he's part Italian. He mentioned that. He ate pasta, yeah. ate pasta. I can tell you everything about Rich. And Rich mm. comes to me and, tells, and gives me props. You remember that, Rich? I, I do. I, you were very impressive. I was Just like, the I, thickness. I couldn't fucking believe that Rich Gaspari. But you, Rich, you were talking about gluten back then too, weren't you? Yes. Yeah, gluten. Yeah, yeah I, I remember. Was, you, I, I remember I you saying that. But it looked, I thought you were in Venice when you were talking was, about that. When you were cooking. He was, I did. I did mention about gluten because I, I study nutrition, and I knew that people that were, you know, there's a lot of people that you know are intolerable to gluten. But then when I read more about gluten, going on a, a gluten free diet. Because, you know, I did experiment. Like, you know how, Milos, you experiment with training. I, I experiment with dieting. And I, I said, okay, I'm going to eat complex carbohydrates with gluten and carb complex carbohydrates non-gluten. So I even had, like, pasta and bread I would have. And I couldn't get as lean until I cut out all gluten products, you know, just sweet potatoes, rice. And then I saw that my body got more ripped by, by cutting out gluten. Huh? <laughs> Did you, did you get that the thumbs up? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, it, you know what this is? This is Zoom. Zoom has this thing now. When you do some gestures with your hand, it will show up, yeah. show up as a. I, oh, really? I, I turned I turned mine off because you can turn that off. The gestures that okay. balloons and and, and and who oh, knows what good. else. Hey, yeah, but yeah, I, I remember that because uh, and how was that training with 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 Lee Haney? Like, how how did that come about? And like. What was that experience like? Because that's that would have been like a dream workout. Well, you remember, I, I was very young when I won the, you know, the nationals, and it was twenty years old. And when I was, I I I got a job working in the valley at Reseda Gold's gym, and in that gym it was a great gym. We had Lee Haney, Corey Everson, Jeff Everson, Myrtle sure. Fox, uh, Albert Beckles, Fred Hatfield. Uh, Mm. Steve Borden, who was Sting, the wrestler, all in his gym in, in the Valley. So I went into this gym, and I was just, I was such a, I won the Junior Nationals. Uh, Ed Connors offered me a job to, you know, to train in, in his, or work in his gym. And Lee Haney just saw me training. He goes, this kid's an animal. I, I mean, when I was a kid, I was really strong. I was, you know, behind the neck pressing 365 for reps. I was squatting over 700 pounds, and he saw me doing all those crazy lifts, and he asked me, he goes, man, you're an animal. He goes, you want to be my training partner? Mm -hmm. And, you know, he just came third in the Olympia, and he was, you know, getting ready for the Olympia. He goes, I'm going to win the Olympia this year, and it was just an honor to train with him, and, and I tell you, I, I had more of a powerlifting background living in New Jersey, and then training with Lee. You remember, he was all about stimulate, don't annihilate. He taught me more about squeezing the muscle, I mean, Lee Haney was a genetic freak. He could lift a light weight and just, you could just see him just grow in <laughs> everything he did. Mm. You know, chest, back. Yeah, I didn't see him and going really heavy ever. With it, no, he didn't go, he didn't go extremely. A lot of times I was, I lifted heavier weights than he lifted when we were in the gym. And he said, you don't need to lift that heavy. 
you know, do and I would he honed me down and taught me to train more as a bodybuilder. And back then I was too leg heavy to my upper body. And he and and basically it balanced out my physique. So that year I won the nationals in Mr. Universe and he won his first Mr. Olympia. But it was a great experience. I, I to this day, I, you know, he's one of the he's very spiritual guy, one of the nicest guys. Because when I was living in California, I ran out of money and I was going to move back east. He took me in and I, I lived with him in this little apartment with his wife in, in, in the living room. I was sleeping in the living room, mm. dieting for a show. So to this day, I would say I'm grateful to Lee Haney because if it wasn't for him. I may have went back home and maybe I wouldn't have won the universe. Maybe yeah, maybe not. Yes. Yeah. So and then, you know, I said, damn, yeah, I ended up having you stay with me then following year you're going against me trying yeah. to beat me. And, <laughs> and, then you be, and then you became the itch right yeah i became the itch yeah because <laughs> at that point so and wait, you know wait, one wait, thing i regret his last olympia that he won his eighth olympia he offered for me to, to live in georgia to train with him you know for that because he goes this is my last olympia you you had me win my first olympia i want you to help me win my last olympia and i i should have went there and trained with him but i ended up going to uh Venice and training at Gold's Gym in Venice because that's where I felt I did my best, you know, training for the Olympia. But to this day, I wish I would have trained with him for that last Olympia that he won. So, when, so when you were trained with him for his first win, which was your national that year, did you, the following year you went against him at the Olympia? Were you guys still training together at that time? No, we. What happened was is we were living in California to get you know together in. I told you in the valley. We competed. He competed in the Olympia. He won the Olympia. I ended up winning the Nationals at Mr. Universe. I moved out of California, moved back to New Jersey. He moved to Georgia. Mm. So, and then from that point, my first pro show was the Night of the Champions that I came second to Albert Beckles. But I went from a 186 uh, light heavyweight to competing in the uh, my first pro show I was like 215, so it was a big difference in how I looked in that show. And I was bigger, but even more ripped in that show. So from that point, because I came second to Albert Beckles, I went into my first Olympia in 85. And Albert Beckles came second to Lee Haney that year, and I came third. How, how impressed were you with Albert Beckles, being his, how old he was? Or, and... you, know, you know, it's funny, because when I was 21, 22, I didn't think about it. But now that I think about it, he was 56 years old coming right. in second in the Olympia, looking phenomenal. I mean, every bit, he wasn't a big, big guy, but the detail in his muscle, oh, yeah. the peaks on his arm. I mean, I'd watch him train because he trained in the same gym as I did in California. Just so impressive of how he looks and thinking about that he won pro shows at 60. Mm. 61 at 60. years old. He I did, like when he had like no hair, he had a little bit on the sides. Mm. And going against these young guys coming up there with the, yes, with the, with the rich geeks. You probably didn't know how old he was at that time. I knew how old he was. He, he was not saying it. I, I do no. know. 91 uh, European Grand Prix Tour, right? And, uh, uh, you know, we were supposed to pick up the, the passports. And then I said, okay, you get from everybody. So I got it and, and I, I just peek. It's so, Albert, you're 60, 61, right? It's just, you know, shut up. You know, don't don't say nothing. <laughs> he told me you know, like, oh, I felt because you know, I wanted to know. We all wanted to know. Uh, Sonny Schmidt wanted to know how how old is. Uh, I didn't know Sonny was how old he was either. The Australian said, "How old is this cunt?" <laughs> 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 so uh, you know, I said, "Yeah." So sixty-one, he beat us all in Niagara Falls pro invitation. There's, and then never, there's never been another Albert Beckles, huh? No, no, not like that. No, and he he did. Million shows. I mean, he did more than anybody. I, I think he did more than than Daxter, actually. I you know, can't track it down because, I mean, how long did he I, You know, I, I appreciate it more now because I'm 60, and I thought, like, there's yeah. no way I could be, you know, be in the yeah. Olympia, and, like, yeah. this guy was in the you Olympia. Do. do you think about it? Like, the way he Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah like, <laughs> how is this possible? Yeah, I know. Hey, uh, so when you – were you 22 – when okay, when was this? When did you stop competing? You came back, I think, at the '97 Night of Champions, right, Rich? 
I came back. I, I took a break because I was burnt out. Because from when, did you, when was that? How old were you when you took the break? Uh, 90, 92. And then I came back like 90, 95, 96, 97. And then that was it. Oh, That's, it. It ended up being the era of like the first time I went into the pro show, I was going against. Ronnie Coleman and Flex Wheeler, you know. But that's, <laughs> was that in New was, York also? That was in New York, plus some other Grand Prix shows. I went against Milos, and Milos came in. I, I think it was uh, it was at the Canada Pro, Milos, against you. I came in fifth, and you came in third. And he yeah. and Milos came in third to Ronnie. I forgot who won. It was either Ronnie, Ronnie Coleman Flex. or Flex. Yeah. Flex Ronnie won? And... Yeah. No, the, the 95, there was Ronnie first. Gunther second, I was third. And then 96, there was Ronnie first, Black second, I was third at uh, Canada. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead to 97. Go ahead to 97. Go ahead. I know you want to. What? Who won what? who won in ninety-seven? When I beat you, 97. <laughs> 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 I said, did you ever beat Chris? I said, oh, you go right there and not say nothing. I know you can Yeah, but Chris, 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 you started oh, it. Was he off? I, said, I was just off. <laughs> Otherwise, I would not, not win. And then, yeah. and then the next, the next week, that was your last show, right, Rich? The Olymp a Night of Champions. That was the last show because what happened was, I got, I got injured. I ruptured the disc in my neck, and that was it. That was it. You know, the injury was always coming. Because I could see where I was having problems, like with the way I looked, my back. Yeah, pose. yeah, I could see muscle was atrophying. So something was happening with my. And you were know, just like thirty, right? Were you like thirty? I was 30, 30, 34, 33, 34. Okay. And I was already, yeah, like I, I, my discs were fucked up, and I had to retire. But, but, but I, you know, I was. I always say it's a blessing in disguise because when I was sitting in bed for like three months with this injury and I went from like 220 down to 170 pounds, I started Gasparri Nutrition and that was the rest is history. Mm. Mm. Well, I want to ask you, it's not that you mentioned it, you were 186 light heavyweight, right? Yeah. You won nationals and then you won the world championship, right? And I do yes. remember that picture when you jumped like uh, six feet. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You beating that the guy uh, black and white, Gromus, Gromus, but Yo Josef Kolmus. Yeah, yeah. You lost to uh, Mike Christian overall, right? But then yes. in the nationals. But then you said from one eighty six, you went to two fifteen for nine of the champions, yes. and hit Mike every time afterwards. How yeah, did first. you? I mean, that's uh, thirty pounds. Thirty pounds yeah. in weight. Okay, tell us your secrets and. Diet and program and training at that time. Okay, so you know a lot of people thought I just went on heavy, heavy drugs to get that you know to get that big. But honestly, hey when I was dieting to go into the to the nationals, I had to, I, the year before that I went in as a heavyweight and I competed as a heavyweight. I was about about two oh eight in the nationals. I came in fifth. Uh, the, the year that uh, Bob Paris won, Ed Connors goes, if you drop down to light heavyweight, you'll win easily, you know, the, the light heavyweight class. I wanted to go in at 198. I overdieted and got down to 186. So mm -hmm. there I was much lighter because I wasn't as full of glycogen. But it was funny. I, I was on a mission. After the na Nationals of Universe, I started just eating and training, and I just started filling out. Like, it wasn't like I was smoothing out. I would eat more calories, and I just saw my body grow. And, you know, I, I wasn't eating shit. I was eating very clean. I always followed, um, I don't know if you hear, like, what I do. I do a 40-40-20 um, diet where 45% or 45% or protein, 35% complex carbs, 15 and 20% fat. And I followed that. I just started increasing my caloric intake. From I was eating twenty two hundred and went up to like fifty five hundred calories. You know, of course, I went on you know better gear. 
you know, I wouldn't say much more gear, but I was on, you know, you know, I wasn't on GH back then, wasn't on insulin back then. But yeah, just, I think a lot of it ju is just attributed to just eating properly mm. and getting my muscles to fill out and grow. So I don't, I never thought, I, like when I tried to use more drugs or more gear, whatever they want to call it, I didn't, I didn't, I only saw that I held more water. I didn't get better and I didn't yeah. get stronger. Um, That's the case, but, but people don't want to believe it, you know? Right. Oh, so, Milos, do you, do you, listen, I, I've been now on the side helping people getting ready for shows and not helping just regular, but people under eat, people do not eat enough food for One their bodies. Like, one million percent, right? I mean, listen, when you're a coach, okay, now we are coaches, and you really want to get maximized results, not some bullshit. Okay, everybody can get in shape somehow, but did you maximize? So you want to have a caloric requirement and then little uh, uh, caloric deficit. What they do, they just have a crazy deficit. They catabolize the body, and then, like I said, you want it to be 198, but you dig deeper, 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 and then you went to yeah. 186, right? Then yeah. you realize, okay, you were just eating and training, and body used all this energy and the calories, and you were not gaining body fat. Well, yeah. that's that sweet spot. How can you maximize and, and keep it to that level? Because everybody, okay, fish and veggies, psh, you're going to get ripped. Yeah, you're going to yeah. shut your metabolism, you know, you're going to be 1,000 calorie deficient, it's going to be a you know, muscle loss guarantee, you know, and then you're going to do this. Every, everybody that did this, they, they start eating, they blow up like a blowfish and then yep. die down again. So ideally, in an in a ideal world, is like you keep... Samson is doing the exact same diet for two and a half years, plus minus a little bit. Variety is like this, you know. So by the way, by the way he, he looks phenomenal. I've mm -hmm. never seen a person improve from show to show to show I, I just look first of all i'm a big fan of samson's i think he's got like just dense he's got that old school dense muscle for me he's gonna you know he's gonna beat hottie i mean i don't know if you want to talk about okay. that but i uh, yeah I, we, we, talk, we, talk, we talk about it every week it's just the, week. the only thing is but we still talk about it but the only thing is that this show will air the day after the arnold so whatever we yeah. predict now it's not gonna okay end. so it's i predict end. Dips is going to win the Arnold again yeah. and beat Hottie. <laughs> okay, so you got Hottie in second? I got Hottie in second. I mean, from there, it's hard. Um, who's the other guy you have? Horse MD? Yeah, yeah. Horse and uh, uh, James. You know, it's, and, uh, and the other Brazilian guy? Horse, yeah, yeah Horse. Uh, horse MD, Marcelo. No, he, he's, uh, like, he's talking about... Uh, oh, that's uh, Rafael Brandao. Yeah. Rafael, yeah, Rafael Brandao. He looks good, too. Did you see? Know, did you third? see the most muscular he posted yesterday? That uh, Neil. Oh, looks crazy. Yeah, looks like crazy. that one. Yeah. Who horse? Look, look, look no, like Rafael. No. Yeah, listen. Rafael. We had him on the show last. We had him on the show last week, and he said he's going to yeah. be about ten pounds heavier. Wow. You know, he has beautiful shape, beautiful lines, Absolutely. good yes. condition, and he said he's going to be the all time. He texted me and said, "I'm going to win." So really? he's he's a really confident. He's really confident too. And and by the way he looks, I mean, what did I say last I, week? Do you guys remember what I said last week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think but he's going to give Hardy a run. Yeah, Dennis. I hope, uh, I hope he does. I hope look, he does. Look at look at the uh, uh, video from the room, like from day before. Okay, you can find it there, and then you can see uh, the real picture. When you were fully pumped in a gym. Yeah, I know. Okay, I know. That's a completely different story. So that was uh, fully loaded uh, in a gym. Yeah, but, you know, yeah, but, yeah, but, what, but we do expect him to come out for his mandatory oh. pumped. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, you know. you know, I love Rafael Benda. And listen, Marcel and him, they're best friends. So imagine oh, they're, really? yeah. they're best, best of friends, okay? And they're going against each other. I think he has more quality than horse. Huh? I think he has more quality shown than, than horse. I think he's com yeah. more, more complete. I mean, I, I, I only hear it, and even Milo said that from horse from the back is not the greatest. So, and I think this is where 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 
uh, Raphael is going to take over once they turn around. The color, the rubber meets the road. Yeah. <laughs> but I think Raphael, right. if, if, if Raphael is 10 pounds more than he was, and he looks, he has the same condition, I think he could stand next to Hardy and, 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 and do really good. So what, what happens if you think, if, if you say that's true and Raphael beats Hardy, and Hardy comes in third? Well, that's okay. Okay. I, think, I think it's already a problem for Hardy if he doesn't win. Doesn't matter yeah, if that's what I believe. Yeah, it doesn't matter if he's second, third, fourth, or fifth. If Hardy loses to Samson, he's taking his name out for the Olympia because then Samson took over. Then it's going to be Samson against Derek. That's how I feel. Yes. I, I, I feel the Samson same. Samson has a type of physique that he, it can, it, that can be the case because you have more real estate that you can use. Like Hardy is, Hardy is tapped out. On what he can actually do with his physique. Not not only has he tapped out, I think I think that he's gotten a little bit too big. Yeah. And it shows. I agree. It shows here. It's not what it used to be. It used to be his midsection. You know, his waist was much smaller. It was all granite. Now you can see things happening when you get too. It's the same thing that happened to me. And you get you, a little older each once year. Once you get too big, it's harder. He can still do the ab and thigh and squeeze, but when you do other poses, it does. His flow is not the same. So maybe that's that, what it is. It's it's the flow. Yeah. The flow of his physique is not as pleasing as Samson's. Right. Samson just looks he looks fresh. Yeah. He looks you know his physique is just and, and, we, and, we, and we all been to come with some striations. Yeah, no, listen, legs. we all been saying this for how long? That if Samson nails his condition, it's game over. It's game over. Yeah. Listen, I'm gonna be the first one to say it right here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if Samson gets peeled. I'm not talking about the Arnold now. At the Olympia, Derek can't fucking hang with him. Derek can't stand next to him. Yes, Derek's got a better back double biceps. Absolutely. But when you look at the complete physique, size, like Milos would say, hashtag bodybuilding, Samson is the man if he brings the condition. It's going to be very yeah. hard, very hard to keep Samson away, uh, for, uh, for Derek to keep Samson away if Samson comes in peeled. And I know for a fact that Hardy and Derek both Hope to pray to God that Samson is not nailing to his condition. Yeah, that's that's what it is. But, but listen, as I'm biased coach anyway, if I say something <laughs> which I'm going to, you always <laughs> you always say it. Here it is. Digest this. Samson for me is in league on his own, like Lee Haney was, you know, starting to dominate. And then Ronnie Coleman started to dominate, and that's how Samson is becoming. That uh, you all agree, oh, he has the best, 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 best. If he nails it, yeah. who who is going to touch him? Who, wait, who is? Wait, okay, gonna... okay, I'll tell you. Now mm -hmm. we can't forget that Derek is still young. Oh yeah, and yeah. what? And everything we complain about Derek is that he's not uh, the density and the striations. That's coming now. Yeah, if Derek. Derek did a smart thing in my eyes. He's not doing the Arnold because he's going to improve for the Olympia. So if Derek mm -hmm. comes in full up here, then we're talking a different ball game. Now he's going apple and oranges. Well, we, uh, you know, on the show, uh, Primetime Muscle, I made reference to him for like the last what's, two years. What's Primetime Muscle? What, 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 what is that? <laughs> it's, our show. It's, it's our big time show. <laughs> You can see it on Olympia TV uh, with Tarek and Tim, my co-host. Uh, yeah, so I always called it, I always said, hey, he's got baby abs. Like, dude, you got to do something with those abs. I can tell they well, were not. You, who you, who are you talking about? By Derek. Okay. And now well, he's starting to try to train his abs yeah, now. Yeah. And they're starting to improve now. That That's going to help him because he was, just, I think that was a body part he was uh, not paying much attention to, but I, I definitely said that you can go back and look a few times that you, you can't have all of this growing and then that looks like that. I know, but we we but we mostly we mostly criticize Derek's uh, lack of striations. Abs and that. Yeah, but listen, Samson's, oh, yeah, yeah. Samson's abs are not the best either. Yeah, not, they are good when they go like he's this. He's got good abs. He's just doesn't when he poses abs and thighs. Or when I see, it, yeah, it better, looks like they just a little, they a little the, poochy. The, con little the poochy. control could be better. Hey. Yeah, Derek, Derek is phenomenal bodybuilder that accomplished what nobody else did. Yeah, by far. Oh, uh, he's still what five foot five, right? No, he's, he's taller than that. Come on, Milos. <laughs> five, five, six and a half. 
Okay, yeah. sorry. <laughs> I go by centimeters, not inches. Maybe I, I talk with it. <laughs> no, no, but, but still, listen, it's like, okay, uh, Rich, I hope you don't mind me uh, drawing this comparison, you and Lee Haney, right? You were conditioned better than Lee Haney many times, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And relatively speaking, right, you had a bigger legs, you know, and, uh, you know, so you can dissect and look. You're going to use this. Away. But Lee Haney was so <laughs> dominant, right? Well, yeah, yeah. Just, but he had you know, that like, back and that chest and that and, and small waist. And Come small on, waist, man. Yeah. And Lee went like this. This and game over. That, that last uh, listen, when you hit, when 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 he you hit, hit the big pecs, tried Lee Haney didn't, didn't have to pull. We can't all talk at the same uh, time. Rich. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. The Rich. Last Rich. Me and Chris <laughs> came to your show '88 in Los 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 Angeles. We watched your show, right? That was your first. Yeah, that was my first Olympia. Mind. The set, and you were you were gunning for the title. I mean, you were so close, right? Yeah. And I, I'm sure that you were going into the show like you have a chance to beat Lee Haney. You know, yes. and, and us fans, we were thinking, yeah, maybe it's possible because you are ripped, strided, complete, all that stuff, right? But the second Lee Haney turned around to the audience and did the frontal expose, I think the show was over. I mean, <laughs> When you look back, uh, Rich, when you me, look back, I think so. one second, Chris, Rich, when you look back, because as a competitor, you want to win. You, you think you win. You think you got him there. You got him there. Yeah. Now, when now, let's say 20, 30 years later, when you look back, do you see a year where you said, I should have beat him there? 80, 87 was, you know, at my thickest and biggest and most impressive. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. And I... You know, I was 225. I was bigger than I ever was. Shoulders. I wasn't as striated, but I was really thick. And, Rainy. and I was more, Rainy. I was very impressive, I think, for me. You know, and Lee Haney wasn't at his best. And they all said I could beat him. And then 88, Lee Haney was better. But I, and I was told to come in leaner. So I was a little lighter in the 88 Olympia. More, you know, I came back with the striations and that. But like Milo said, once he got on stage and I saw Lee Haney, I said, oh, fuck, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine you had, the, <laughs> I, Chris, you had the most muscular with the one-handed front and one-handed back. Yeah. And then you was like, you was like just all. Oh, like, no, I, my, my strong points were my chest, my legs. You know, those were like my you know, strong points back then. Yeah, I wonder what the, what the reactions were from the guys back in Lee Haney's time when he took but the clothes off you know, stage. Uh, but you you were there, uh, Milos. Didn't it, didn't it seem like when Lee came out, he was like this, and everybody else was down here, no matter what height they were. Just like he was just patting on their heads, like, "Come on." Kids. I, I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to say out of respect. He was like man with the boy. <laughs> That's what it looked like. I was in the yeah, last yeah. row, and I could see it. <laughs> I, yeah. I was overwhelmed. I was like, "Holy!" Right. And then my first Olympia was uh, your last Olympia, '91. Right. Yeah. And if you remember, Rich, I mean, you and, and Dorian and Lila Brada and Sean, you were thinking maybe you can catch him, right? Yeah. And you remember, uh, I, I said about this moment, I don't know where you were at, uh, when we were pumping up. And uh, Lee was just talking to some muscle development people. And, you know, everybody was oiled up and pumped up. He was in a jacket. And then they called 15 minutes, right? And then, do you remember? He walked yeah. to the first mirror, he took the jacket off, and man, I was like, holy shit. The best Lee Haney you've ever seen in your life? I mean, yes. monster. Didn't pump up. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it was like... No, you know, you know what's funny is, you look at Lee Haney, that eighth Olympia, that was his best Olympia, the best shape, where, you know, I, I'm not going to give, you know, the same, you know, Ronnie Coleman wasn't great, but his last Olympia was not his greatest shape that he was compared to what Lee Haney did when he stood next to Dorian and Dorian was was no threat to Lee Haney in that show. Mm. <laughs> you nope. saw it. No, he wasn't. Yeah. He didn't have the I mean Lee Haney had that chest for that last spread. Lee, uh Dorian had a great last spread, but Lee Haney had a big, thick, thick, thick. I mean I I thought that was the best Lee I've seen uh, yeah, in the God. show. And I love that that music he used and his uh, routine. 
So, uh, so 91 was Lee's last Olympia. Did he announce that this is his last one before? Yes, yes. So he took, everybody knew this is his last his one. Early 30s. I know. Listen, 31. listen, and Dennis, he asked me to train with him because he goes, this is my last Olympia. That's it. This is it. I, I want to beat Arnold's record. This is my last one. And that's why he told me to go, that he wanted me to train with him in Georgia for that last Olympia. You know, but. Uh, he had Animal Kingdom, did he? Animal I Kingdom. think it was Animal Kingdom back then. That was his gym. Yeah, of course. That was that was my hero, man. I was. I mean, I just. I had. A, I wanted to pattern my physique after Lee Haney like the whole time. That was nice. shit, man. unbelievable. So, Rich, what do you guys think if Lee Haney was, if he continued, he could have improved, you know, more like oh yeah, Dorian. Oh yes. yes. Oh yeah. He had. Yes. I mean, he had at least had five, strong, six super, more years in, in his prime. He could have, he could have, like I said, I know Dorian got better, you know, the, the, he got bigger, but even the first year that Dorian won, that he, that Lebroni came in second, I don't think, were you in that show, Dennis? Yeah, no, no, I wasn't even pro. Dennis didn't turn pro yet. Yeah, no, yeah no. I was there. I Dennis was, probably just started training. picking up a weight. I was 92, <laughs> I started training, yeah. He started picking up a weight. <laughs> oh, wow. So you didn't even pick up a weight. I didn't know, I didn't realize <laughs> But... But even then, that wasn't the, the the Dorian that was so impressive the year after. Ninety two, ninety two, Ali Haney was the for sure. Not know, yeah, I remember talking. I remember talking to Dorian. Ninety three, ninety three. I, I don't know. I remember talking to Dorian in ninety two. He overdieted. He said. Yeah. He wanted yeah, to come in peeled. Come in super ripped. Yeah, he wanted to come in peeled, and he overdieted. And he said, and in ninety three, when he came in like fifteen or sixteen pounds bigger, he yeah. said. He didn't gain any weight. He just didn't lose it. But, yeah. but, but, but think, think of this. He was monster comparing to who? Sean Ray oh, and Flex Yeah, exactly. And yeah. If it would be Lee Haney who improved to the 91 and knows now he have this big British guy that he needs to catch up with and, and keep the size and put the size. He would put more size and he would still dwarf him. I mean, Dorian, after all, had just a crazy back but Lee had a back to match. But, yeah. but he had a, this... The chest, you know, like... Chest that, that was a super going. small waist. Yeah. yeah. So... Lee Handy could have won many yeah. titles. I have a question for Chris, because he's friends with both of them. Mm. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> She's going to lose one friendship now, of course. <laughs> <laughs> if Lee would have stuck, if he would not retire in 91, or after the 91 Olympia, would there be a, a Dorian Yates reign? Not of six, not of six. He would have, he would have won some, but it wouldn't have been six. Uh, after after Lee Haney retired. Yeah, he would have need. I think, uh, you know, he had a. I mean, he he got a little bit more grainy, grainy big. But Haney, like you say, when you when you hit that front, if they both hit the front last pair from the front, you know, wait. I mean, Dorian never had those type of packs, hmm. and he never had that type of waist. Uh, especially when he gained, you know, the more weight, and you know he didn't. Uh, Lee didn't have the glutes and the hamstrings like Dorian and the calves, but <laughs> and they both didn't have big arms. Yeah. So it wasn't. Yeah. It been, I think it still would have averaged the same. Milos, you agree? Yeah. I, I think that uh, Lee Haney would dominate. Yeah. Uh, as long as he wanted to compete seriously, I mean, it's not the same ball game competing with uh, Sean and Flex, much smaller, two hundred fifteen. Let's say what, what, what was Flex? 18. Uh, 93, 2017. And then he went up to two twenty something. Yeah. So that's the huge body out of whack. Yeah, I mean, Lee, and, and Lee Haney, look at his side chest, his side chest, and this thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, like agree. Father, it's funny. Right? It's funny how we talk about one person. And, still see it, and it's like what thirty-two years, three years later, and we mm -hmm. still talk about his poses. Which means, put a Lee Haney on that stage today. S. Lee Haney in That's, ninety-one. Lee, Lee. <laughs> Lee Haney in ninety-one on the Olympia stage in twenty twenty-four. I think That's he's not point. big enough. Yeah, possibly, yeah. When, <laughs> possibly. The, the, the illusion that you he think he, you think he's not big enough, and I say, well, like, I just think I think in, in today's standards he would have been big enough. He probably 
What, what was his highest weight in 91? I think two, it was 250. Two, five, two, yeah, yeah, 245 50, 50, to 50, 50, 50, 50, yeah. So maybe he would have got to 260, maybe. Would he need to be 260? It was his early, maybe, he was maybe his early 30s, though. I, he, I don't need, uh, I don't think he would, I think if he was, and this is no disrespect to all the athletes today. He was early 30s, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But even if he would have came in at 250, with his shape, yeah. I think he would still be, still be, he would still be doing damage. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, as as we age, your body, like like you said about Hadi Chopin, and a lot of other bodybuilders, your body starts changing. Like if my body changed, yeah, and I was very young, but I started seeing things that were affecting my look. You know, you said the same thing happened to you, Dennis. Oh yeah, yeah. I I saw it happen to Branch Warren. I see it now happening to Hadi Chopin. Big Rami, you know, Same these thing. last couple of years, I just, you know, I, he was lean, he was ripped, but he just, he, he didn't flow anymore. I, I just think what happens to I, the body. I just looked at pictures that I have from Rami back in 2015. Because mm. now everybody talks about, you know, you know, his triceps and his back. And when I look at these pictures, it's unbelievable what he looked like. That was like in off season. Let me show it. You guys, go ahead. I'm going to find a picture and show it to you all. Where, yeah. he, where his triceps was the size of his biceps. Rich, you were uh, going for the gold. Uh, you you were in that show, right? It was like came on yeah. Channel 9 for me yeah. when I was a kid. And I, I remember recording that thing on my my uh, on my on TV. And uh, was that and that was at in goals. Did they just plant you guys like in goals? Or were you actually in goals, Venice, at that time? No, that's, I remember I was training for the Olympia. I stayed at Gold's Gym because then... The Olympia was in Los Angeles, so right. yeah, I was there for the last eight weeks, and I lived in California at the Marina Pacific Hotel. That's why, yeah, exactly. That's what I remember. And um, I loved that time. It was just you know because you oh, know man. Joe Weider's like Joe Weider's like like you know stay here. I was always in shape, so when, whenever he wanted me to be available, I you, you, you know shoot over and do photo oh, shoots, yeah, yeah. And, and whatever I had to do. Yeah, that was yeah. Sick. I just looked at That's where I, I don't know what it was when I saw Milos at one of the Weeder shoots. Was that 91? 91 or 92. Yeah. 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 So, How'd you get in there when you got when you got murdered on the stage, Milos? <laughs> just, <laughs> he had a good, you know, okay, he had a really, get your ass. You know, yeah, 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 it's here. Him and he, when I saw him, he wasn't that big. And I said, Wow, look at this guy. He's got nice, <laughs> nice shape. And then a year later, everybody like, water and shit. You no, know, when I went against him like in 90. <laughs> Five ninety six, and Milos is like, "What the fuck did this guy do? He blew up." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but yeah. I, Rich, I was gonna say that going for the goal, like that time right there, I, uh, I was, I was just hooked. I was like, I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop wanting to go to goals. I couldn't, like, just to go and watch and see who I could see, you know, get a yeah. magazine and buy a t shirt, a fucking one of those gold gym tank tops. The mirror out there yeah. coming out all these colors and shit and. You guys yeah. had the yellow and the red. I remember uh, Lee had that yellow one with the red and the red shorts and the red belt, all that shit. <laughs> but but I, I used to, uh, I, I started driving up there and I, I would train in goals when I was a teenager and I would sleep at, I was sleeping in my car because I wanted to save more money to eat. Wow. I was, I was like, I could eat more if I could put this in a hotel, but I could sleep in my car at this fucking taco shop. And I'm talking <laughs> more funny, more money to eat. I could take a shower at the gym, so I was like, "Fuck it." I, I knew when I was when I was there back in the '80s, there was a lot of guys that were living on the roof of Gold's Gym in a, in a tent. Some bodybuilders there living on the roof. <laughs> oh, but it was just just to be there was it meant everything, and it was like, damn, I, I, I wish some of these guys now had that same type of, uh, uh, I don't know, had, can feel that 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 was that was like magic. It was just. Then you got like Chris Lund next door with the damn uh, with the photo photo lab right there, and then he would come across, come around, and have like four or five uh, photographers from the damn magazine in there at any yeah. given time. Uh, it was just a magic, magic time. Did you Did you guys go to the World Gym? The I went to World the World Gym. Gym. I even went to the Reseda just because you guys went there. I yeah. went to check it out. Is you the know, Is I'll the old the World Gym was that the one with the glass front? 
But no, that's, that's the newer one. one. That's the that newer one. one. They had one that the was old one in Santa Monica. It's on the ocean side, right? Yeah. You go up. There's this big deck. I went to that one. I went there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't they do photo shoots there later? Yes. In the same building. It was one. It was one before that with Dennis. No, no, no. I remember. They did photos at the older one, at the newer one. But it was that one. No, no, no. I'm not talking about the one with the glass front now. I'm talking about the building where you have to go upstairs. Yeah. That is the newer one. That was the newer one. And then they made then they moved it again over. Oh, so they moved the, it, they moved it two times? Yeah, three times. Three times. Okay. It's one in Santa Monica, then there's one right there in Venice. Lee, there's another one in Lincoln. Lee Priest no, Lee Priest used to train. He used yeah, to train exactly. there, right? Yeah, exactly. All right, cool. Hey, guys, listen, that's, that's the time. Let's We got to let you go, Rich. I know you're busy. When are you flying into Columbus? Uh, Thursday afternoon. Thursday. Are you, are you having a booth there? No, I got I got a lot of meetings with, you know, okay. retailers and distributors, but I'm going to just to meet with my customers. So a little bit less stress. Yeah. Less stress, and I want to go see. I'm at, Like I said, I'm actually excited to see the show, to see yeah. Hadi against yeah. Samson. I have a I went to your book uh, signing that one year you did. Uh, yeah. Uh, Lee? I mean, Lee. Uh, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> I went to that book signing you had, you did back in the day. I remember it, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. All right, listen, guys, you, have, you guys have a safe trip. I will see you all in Columbus. Chris, you're already there. Milos is already there. I'll see you. Are you staying at the Hilton, Rich? Yeah, I'm staying at the Hilton, yeah, yes. I'll probably see you for breakfast again then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. All right, you guys be Thank safe. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Hey. All right, yep. see you later. Bye.